Hey, welcome to Everyone Can Jam, where everyone can learn to play music. And we're focusing in this lesson on right hand technique, specifically finger picking. And uh, there's a way I like to teach finger picking that has been working really well for my students, little ones, big ones. Um, and I used to start people off using thumb and three fingers and kind of using four strings with the thumb playing bass and that is way the that's the direction we're going when you do finger styles such as um, that's the direction we're going um, or something maybe like But, so I, we're starting with something really simple, but I want you to know we're going the direction of playing all the strings. But the thing about starting this way is it, it kind of forces you to have a good technique. You don't have to figure it out or discipline yourself. If you start this way, whoa, it's hard to develop a bad technique. So take these three fingers, thumb, index, and top finger, and thumb, is going to go on the third string. Pointer goes on the second string. I'm just going to rest them there for now. Tall finger goes on the first string. The thing that um, most beginning students, that right now I'm demonstrating a good shape hand and a good technique, uh, often what happens because of brain pathways that we use to do lots of daily tasks by the time we're a teen or an adult, we do this opposable thumb thing a lot. And that's really not what we want um, to develop a good right hand technique. What we want is not opposable thumb, we want fingers that go down underneath the hand and a thumb that works out here. If you observe some really good players, you'll see uh, a thumb pointing toward the neck, the head of the guitar, and the thumb goes around like this when we play. The fingers come up underneath the hand, like pretty much like you would think, but the thumb is not going toward the fingers. Ideally, the thumb is out here. Okay, so in order to develop that, if we Start, like I said, thumb on the third string, index finger on the second string, uh, top finger on the first string. Most people, a lot of people will start like this. So if your hand's not looking, you want your hand to look like this with the thumb pointing that away, and your fingers in a very natural shape like this. If they look weird, like the thumb is close to your fingers, just do this motion. Shove the thumb that way, and the fingers, let the fingers go back under your hand. And when I did that just now, I want you to see that from farther away. If your thumb is too close to your fingers, this motion is going to help. If the thumb's too close, twist your arm. Well, Fingers move more this way, thumb moves more that way. Another way of going at it is just a nice relaxed fist. Let's see, there we go. Just get used to this feeling. A thumb, kind of like I give you a thumbs up and then I close the lid. My thumb's right there. Fingers are, this is where your fingers go when they follow through. Not like this, like this thumb goes here. So this is, uh, when I say follow through, this is what your hand's going to look like, only it's going to be here. So let's uh, start with a, a nice relaxed fist. Not like this. We want this. Relaxed. Give me a thumbs up and then close it. This is a very relaxed position. The neat thing about coming here on your follow through is that in order to play again, you must relax. So start with your fist like this, and then even without placing your fingers specifically on the strings, just lay it right here. And then let's go ahead and put them where they belong. Put thumb here on the third string, 
and you kind of need to lift your hand away from the strings a little bit. Let me show you that again. As you open, your, ha your hand actually comes out a little bit as you open. Out. So that your fingers can fit on the strings. Thumb should be kind of that way. Fingers should be a little bit more that way. Not like this. Like this. And now when we actually move, let's start with thumb. Thumb will follow through and kind of close like it was on that fist. And most of your motion from the fingers is going to be from this joint. Um, so this is the joint that moves when your finger plucks. Uh, my pointer finger is going to pluck now. And now my tall finger is going to pluck. I'll let you see it from a different angle. Remember I talked about follow through? That's where the fingers go when they follow through. And so what you should be feeling, what we're avoiding is uh, something that looks like a claw or a spider. When you see stuff like that, that's not going to work well. Uh, there is also a tendency to kind of move from these little knuckles and and these aren't the ones we use we use them a little but mostly these <laughs> these fingers when you pluck the strings there it's moving from here not up in here so these knuckles don't move so much see how these knuckles aren't really moving it's here and you can feel it you can just practice in the air like this you feel it in the back of your hand. Um, and if you do these motions, even when you're not practicing guitar, if you're waiting in line somewhere, just get used to that motion. It might be kind of different and it might take some getting used to, but every time you do it, that brain pathway gets a little more fast and um, it gets easier to do it uh, subconsciously. So a little more time. Um, Start with a nice, relaxed, closed fist. Um, thumbs up, close it gently. So thumbs over there. Just lay your hand in front of the guitar. Relaxed in general, everything not tight should be relaxed. Thumb goes on the third string. Pointing that away. Index finger is on the second string. I'm sorry, it's a little hard to see the strings right now. Uh, tall finger is on the first string. And then just practice plucking thumb, index, tall finger with the follow through going up under your hand. Okay? You could go thumb, finger, finger, or thumb, finger, finger, and you could go back down. You can make up your own patterns, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, but just get used to playing them in those places, and uh, that will help you keep a good technique. And then when we start using all the strings, um, then your thumb will already be in the habit of working this way. And your fingers will already. So part of the idea I didn't mention is that when your thumb comes back under here, it gets in the way of your fingers. And that's one reason that uh, what I've just shown you is um, classical right hand uh, guitar technique. And uh, so there's another little lesson about flat picking. And, uh, oh, um, it'd be nice if we could uh, share our progress. And I am working on some courses. Uh, we could form a group. We could communicate a little bit better, maybe on a Facebook page. And if you're interested in that sort of thing, uh, I will let you know about that when it's ready uh, through my email list and let you know about other helpful things that I don't put anywhere else. So if you want to be in my email list, go to www everyonecanjam.com and uh, sign up on my email list and uh, I'll be in touch.
Bye.